Hi, Jason. How are you doing? Good, Ian. How are you doing? It's so great to see you, even if it's uh, only virtually. Uh, we've had an incredible year together as we've gone through this transformation and, and embraced uh, this new era. Uh, Accenture has really kind of been a distributed organization for a long time. So have you felt a difference uh, as a consequence of COVID or has this just been another day? Uh, at Accenture, although we've been very distributed uh, over you know the course of the last uh, several decades, we really have I think over this period of time really with our clients worked out based on sort of the use case and what you're trying to do as a team, which everything we do is a team sport. Um, we've we really honed our our approaches to how you bring a team together, whether they're all remote or there's a portion of them that are remote, um, how best to organize and support a team doing those various use cases. I think at, at TouchCast, we've been incredibly fortunate uh, to partner with Accenture for many years now. And recently, Accenture has invested in TouchCast and we've gone to market together. So I've seen firsthand uh, the halo that uh, this thought leadership uh, in terms of eating your own dog food and, and that you've, tr you've, you've built a distributed organization and embraced all these tools. So when we come into an account and an, an opportunity, I, I see the hunger in those accounts to learn from Ex Accenture and how have they handled this. How have, because a lot of companies have been forced to change the way they work and consider uh, remote work. Uh, there is talk about things not going back to the way they were before. What, what are you hearing from some of the big uh, customers of Accenture relative to how they see the future? They work? are definitely, our clients are viewing this as an opportunity to learn about how to perhaps solve the, the problems of the past and really are looking for examples where they can, in their own environment, pilot some of what this new uh, way of, of collaborating and, and running events and things is. Um, they, uh, it, the way that we viewed our role in this is I'm um, part of our internal IT organization leading digital experiences. We know our clients are gonna come ask us first, hey, how does Accenture, with as distributed and as widespread and global an organization we have, how do you do, you fill in the blank, whatever that is, how do you do virtual events for clients? How do you do, uh, remote whiteboarding collaboration and in all of these things we need to get out ahead because our clients expect us to be out ahead and I think your example of virtual events is a really great one we're going to not head back to what things used to be we're going to be a part of what's next the new way to do an event that might have a portion of its population not might will have a portion of its population not physically in that uh, conference hall um, but expect as good, if not better, of an experience than what they had in the past. Nobody's headed back to what we all knew, right? That isn't the best. The best is yet to come is what I fully believe and what you and I talk about all the time. I'm really encouraged and, and optimistic about the, all of those use cases. Yeah, I think that when you look at the construct of real estate and space and the amount of uh, resources that go towards that, and as CEOs around the world are reevaluating how to think about their leases and how to think about their investment. I think uh, for us as uh, TouchCast and working together with the Accenture Interactive, Accenture XR, Accenture Productions under you, as we think about these digital twins that we can create for those spaces and really extend them into a digital era, like we've done for Macquarie, where we've created a replica of their uh, headquarters in Sydney, and they can still run events there digitally that seem like they're in venue. Uh, we've done similar work with Accenture around the Tech Vision, which is this beautiful uh, briefing center that we've created that now allows uh, Accenture under your team's uh, production capabilities to continuously produce really high impact events that seem like a multi-million dollar production, even though people are uh, distributed and stuck at home. So what do you see as the role of this kind of premium execution, like the one that we bring to market together with the TouchCast? Uh, of participants and organizers to uh, take, to up level that experience, that group experience, it very much is a group experience from what people have gotten you know, used to or even tired of, which is just sitting in front of a video conference platform and having a barrage of speakers come speak to them. It does need to, you know, up-level that conversation and premium platforms 
um, allow that to happen in a way that just can't be, it's not even in the same galaxy as the, you know, the, the stock uh, video collaboration platforms. Um, and it really is because, you know, folks' expectations, the consumers of those events, the participants in those events, and the organizers of the events um, expect not just like a notch up from what they've had in the past or what they use day to day, but they, they you know, it's almost a, a, a massive leap forward where they're really expecting a multidimensional and, and not um, in a time shifted uh, experience as well. The, the old way we used to plan events was, you know, it was all about that week. It was all about, you know, building up to that week. And maybe we thought, hey, maybe a week or two after, someone's going to want to watch the replays of these things. And, and you know, you, you did that uh, in a way to, to, you know, create more uh, consumption of that content. But now it's about how do you get that audience engaged with you 365 days a year? And that just sparks or refreshes the uh, excitement about whatever topic you're talking about. And I think people will start planning differently than they did. It's not all about like every January we do this massive event in Las Vegas. And then we hope that, you know, people are as excited the next year it comes around. But we want that conversation and that engagement happening um, all the way uh, through. And not just engagement isn't anymore, you know, just watching a video from the conference. It is actually about engaging with your community, their fellow community members um, that they share interest in for that topic and that content. And, and I think when we start thinking about it that way. And, and I think one of the key topics, and you alluded to it, is engagement, right? How do you create content that keeps the attention of your audience in a world where their attention span is constantly shrinking? And one of the areas that at TouchCast we spend a lot of time on is this recognition that if historically we expected people to consume content predominantly by reading, we invested a tremendous amount in building beautiful websites uh, that uh, we would drive our audience to. If people are not reading anymore, how do we still engage with them? You know, if you think in the enterprise world, those people creating that content, to the extent you can have your um, your customers, your, your consumers engage with the folks that are the experts on those topics in a very real way, I think is the next horizon. And, and again, so I just always think, you and I always talk about Anything that's happening in the consumer world, there, there should be no discussion or debate on whether or not that ever comes to the enterprise. Um, it's just you know, how quickly you can close that gap between the two is where I think I, I like to spend a lot of time. Yeah, and w you mentioned the fact that once you start creating this content, you're starting to effectively create a library uh, of content that is done the right way, so it's incredibly engaging. Uh, and, and then you effectively develop this modality of allowing the constituent of that company to binge on its content as opposed to read on its content. But once you have all that content, I think it presents yet another opportunity with the right level of AI technologies, which we've been developing and deploying together. We're now seeing how we can create these collective intelligence capabilities for Accenture as a, as a partner, as well as for Accenture's clients. Can you talk a bit about the role you see this collective intelligence playing in this future uh, once you've started embracing this new kind of publishing and communication? Yes, absolutely. The, the thing that I, I love about uh, this concept is it, it, it fixes a problem in our industry that's been uh, omnipresent forever, right? Um, and I would say very similar to many other large organizations, the knowledge is truly trapped in people's brains until you get them in some way to put that down on paper. Those that turn a, um, you know, a particular idea into a thought leadership piece or an offering that, you know, finally makes, makes it to external clients. We have the opportunity to do that. Not everyone does. It's not in the normal flow of work for people to sort of say, hey, what did I learn this week and how do I turn that back into something that others can benefit from, right? Everyone's in rapid pace going to serve their clients and the time frame it takes to get that out um, published so that folks can benefit from that shared uh, collective intelligence, I think is something that, you know, we're working on together. The idea that, you know, all of our half a million people have some bit of the puzzle that a, you know, will help answer a question, a specific question or, you know, a, a solve for a particular challenge, um, I think is a, a, a tremendous opportunity. We certainly see it as um, a, a challenge that will never go away until we do something as disruptive as what 
we're working on together, this collective intelligence concept. I, I think it, uh, it is the way of the future for our type of industry. Well, Jason, thank you so much for your partnership. And I, I couldn't have imagined a better partner on this journey into this bold new future. I really believe the work we're doing together is important for Accenture, it's important for TouchCast, but uh, it really is important for the world because we're paving a path to a future where I think humanity can solve problems using technology. Thank you so much, Jason, and I look forward to our next conversation. Likewise. Thanks as always, Ida. Take care.